Hi, I'm Jessica Blackwell from Equestrica. As horse owners, injuries are part and parcel of owning a horse. So a lot of the time I have people come to me and say, my horse is on box rest, they've done a tendon, they've cut their leg, they, you know, whatever it is, horses do all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, what can I do for my horse? Because the thing about being in box rest is not only does it make the horse a bit sour, but they're not moving like they normally would and they're compensating for their sore leg, back, neck, whatever bit it is. So we want to make sure that whilst they're on box rest, we help them out a little bit. So what you can do without knowing any anatomy or anything like that, is just feel your horse's muscles and just make sure that there are no areas that might be particularly tight or spasmy. So you can see she's a bit, bit spasmy here, a bit dippy, a little bit angry about it. As she's got a front leg lameness too, we're expecting the hind to be quite sore. So once you've had a bit of a feel over your horse, you can just give them a bit of a massage to help them out. Now you don't need to know any flashy muscle names or anatomy or anything like that. I just want you to know that this is your cervical spine here. So go gently over that. Your thoracic spine of your back sits along here, goes into your lumbar vertebrae and your sacral vertebrae. So you just go gently in those areas. And otherwise, you can pretty much imagine like you're giving them a really good curry comb. Because surprisingly, a good curry comb is like a nice basic massage. So you can pretty much cover this way. We're not going to massage that leg, it's a bit sore. Yeah, it's okay, I'm not going to touch it. So we're not using any flashy techniques or anything like that. Just our hands and just rubbing big areas of muscle out. And yeah, it's not the same as getting a therapist out to look at your horse, but it is still helping your horse, still providing some well needed attention to these tight muscles. could see how tight she was there. As I said, you carry combs. And this is just something that you can do to your horse to A, make them feel a bit better, but also to give them something a little bit different to being stuck in the box on box rest. The things you want to be careful of is avoid the injured area. And obviously we'd be in a stable if they weren't allowed to walk um, on that limb. And of course you do both sides, but that is something nice and simple that you can do for your horse.